Blogger is a nice simple platform for writing blogs and most of it's intuitive but I wanted to run you through a few tips that may save you a little bit of time as you put together your first blogs. And what you see here is the post that I've written for our visit to class by Tom, Tom Hayden next week. And I've written most of the text here, but I've left some stuff undone to, to show you what I'm uh, show you some of the, the features in Blogger. For one thing, up here in the title field, be sure to put your title there. Uh, don't put your title in the main field for the blog and it doesn't look proper, or it doesn't look correct on the blog itself. So put the title for your blog up here and then you'll just go ahead and type in your text here in the main window. You can also type this in, say, Word and cut and paste it in. That should be okay as well. Um, and let me show you some of the features up here on the, the menu bar. You can change fonts. You can change text sizes. I have it normal right now, I think. You can make things bold or make things in italics. Uh, so for example, down here at the bottom, I still need to italicize uh, National Geographic and I need to italicize wired. There we go. Uh, you can do strike throughs, change the color of your text if you'd like, highlight text. Um, one of the features you'll hopefully use quite a bit is going to be the add or remove link button. And I have a couple links I still need to add here. Uh, this citation or this line about a more recent piece on evolution from 2009. Well, I have that in another tab in my uh, web browser here. This is it right here, this article, What Darwin Didn't Know from Smithsonian. So I'm going to copy that URL, come back over to that tab that has Blogger in it, and I've highlighted where I want that URL to be embedded. I'm just going to click on link and paste in the web address, the URL address. I can test that, and it works. That's the window that would open up, so let's get rid of that. Uh, and then hit OK. Great. So now I've put in that link to that line. Let's try another one. Um, well, actually, before I try another one, let me show you some other features here. So there's the link button. I showed you how to do that. Images. You can insert images, and I've inserted this image of Tom here talking about his uh, last book that just came out. And you would click on that, and then uh, choose a file on your desktop that you want to upload, and then click OK. I've already done this, so I'm going to click Cancel. And then the window, the photo will pop up. You can choose whether to have that be a large photo, medium photo, or small. You can put it on the left of your text. You can center it, or put it in the right, or remove the photo completely. I'll leave it like that. You can uh, align your text to the left, or center it, or align it to the right, uh, however you'd like. Um, and then these are important buttons. You can make lists, either numbered lists or bulleted lists. This is a nice way to organize information. Look at this list of links here that I want you to read for next week. That looks great. This list down here kind of blends into the rest of the text, so I'm going to highlight these two lines and make them bulleted text. And then I need to put in a web link for this article, Earth Pulse at National Geographic here, so I'm going to copy that URL and click on the link button and paste it in. OK. And then this link to the future of food at Wired Magazine is this article. Copy. Paste. And we're good to go. So I think that's looking pretty good. Um, last thing I'm going to add here is a label. This is a tag that allows people to search more easily for your posts. And this is an assignment for you guys for next week. So I'm going to label this assignment. Now I've already labeled some posts as assignment. So when I type in the beginning of assignment, it pops up with an option here. And I'm just going to click on that to finish it. If you have a number of different tags that you've used, you can click on Show All, and it'll show you all the possible tags, and then you can just click on one of those. Let's say if this was a post about blog etiquette, but it's not, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of there. So it says Assignment. Looks good. I can test it by clicking on the Preview button, and that's going to show me what the post will look like when it's done. That looks pretty nice. Post Preview. And when you think you're ready to post something, click on Publish Post. 
and then to see it in your blog, click on View Blog, and there it is. Looks nice. Um, now at this point, if you find a typo or you realize you needed to add something or you want to change something, you can always edit your post by clicking on this little pencil here. And I'm right back in this window where I can change that. Um, but I don't, so I'm going to go back to View Blog. And as always, if you want to comment on a post, you would click on the, the comment button here. If you wanted to see all the posts in the blog that were labeled assignment, you would just click on the assignment tab for the assignment label there. And notice on my blog, I have a, a widget, uh, Google calls them gadgets actually, I think, that lists all the different labels. So there are assignments, blog etiquette, blog tech, and so on. Some of these are from past classes if you want to check those out. So that's how you post a, a, a that's how you add a post to your blog. Uh, I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions while you're doing this, of course, please let me know.